G'day guys, just another night on the local block chasing these wild dogs, so a couple more reports that they're still floating about, so tonight I've got the thermal scanner and the night vision scope on the 204 Ruger. G'day guys, so I've just ducked down onto the creek line uh, when I was back up a bit higher near the house I could see a bit of a thermal signature up near this big wood pile up the back where I shoot a few of the dogs and foxes and uh, yeah there's, there's definitely something moving a little bit up there that's a little bit hotter than the logs around it the, the contrast gap isn't huge, it's been about 35 degrees today so uh, I'll splice some clips of the thermal in anyway and yeah at the moment I'm about 450 yards under the wood pile so hopefully I can sneak up this hillside a bit close the gap a bit and get a shot off So there we go, hopefully you've just seen the footage of me shooting this wild dog, it's actually another bitch, uh, I wouldn't call it full grown either. Another young one, um, it's probably the sibling of the dog that I shot last week, which the sad thing is, that there is the dog I shot last week, which you'll probably see in the footage, this one was chewing on, so yeah they must be pretty hungry if they're eating other dead dogs. It's a bit of a spin out that, so in the last couple of weeks I've shot a fox eating a fox and I've now shot a wild dog eating a wild dog. It's in terrible condition this wild dog. It's really skinny but the interesting thing is, is it's got this wound here on its front leg. You'll see on the footage from last week from the trail camera there was an animal that had a bit of a white patch if you look really closely on its front leg. I think it's this same dog. Um, I can only assume that it maybe has been in a, a trap and it's escaped. It's in the right spot for a, a front leg clamp. Uh, not sure, but highly possible anyway. I've probably done it a favour by putting it out of its misery because it wasn't getting around too well. There you go. That was a little bit of a surprise. So I'm just up on the hillside still taking some photos and getting some video for you guys of this wild dog that I've just shot. I've just had a fox walk across the flat down under me so I'll chuck a bit of footage into that and I'm just about to go for a walk further along the flats. There's a heap of rabbits and stuff bouncing around down there at the moment so we'll go and give them a bit of a tune up with the 204 while I'm out here. Oh, 204 Ruger with 32 grain VMAXs certainly makes a mess out of the old bunny rabbits. I got a little bit excited then. I've just had another scan up on that hillside where I've just shot that dog. And I thought I had another dog up there. But I've had a really good look at it and it was a, uh, it was a fox. Unfortunately I missed it. I didn't have time to, uh, to get set up and range it or anything like that. I, like I said, I thought it was another dog that had come out. Um, and it was further than I thought, it was about 3.30 where I shot at it, so that's um, that's probably enough drop on the 204 to, to skim just under him when I aim centrally, so a bit of a shame, but anyway, 
nonetheless, we'll get him another night. So it's the maiden voyage for this XI E3 Max Thermal hand scanner as well. So I'll be doing a review on this in the coming months. But yeah, for the first trip, I'm pretty happy with it. The functions are easy to use. The image is good. Uh, no complaints. This is just that fox that you saw me shoot in the scope earlier that was down under where I shot the wild dog. So I'll chuck a bit of footage of the thermal in so you can see what that looks like up close. Righto, so as you'll see, I've got some good footage there. Uh, I've shot that wild dog. I've got two foxes. Uh, I had one fox up on the hill, uh, which I thought was a dog, but it was just another fox. So I've got a bit of footage of him as he sort of ducked off into the timber. So a bit disappointing to not peg him, but that's hunting. So anyone that's curious, I'm on foot tonight. I'm using quad sticks to shoot with. Um, yeah. Thermal hand scanner and a uh, and a Pard NV 007 night vision add-on. So, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep chucking content up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.